Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Sean here. So, so this time, let's take a look at uh, today's daily challenge problem number 1,249. Minimum remove to make valid parentheses. Mm. So you're given like a string, right? Uh, consists of uh, left and right parentheses and the lower letter English characters. And our task is to remove the minimum number of parentheses so in any position, so that the, re the resulting parentheses string is a valid, and and we can return any valid string. So for example, you know the uh, so we have some like you know basically the parentheses has to be in uh, in pair, and where the uh, there could be some letters right in the middle, right? So for example, we have this kind of uh, lead code. So here we have two. Uh, left parentheses, and then we have two right parentheses, but there's a like third one. That's why uh, uh, we need to remove the, the last one, right? So that we can make it like a valid string here. And then for this one, right? So this, this time we have, uh, this one is a valid pair, but this, the, this one is not. That's why we need to remove this one, and we got this, this one. So the third, the third example is like this one. Basically, none of those parentheses are, uh, is valid. That's why the final answer is like an empty string. Mm. Yeah, here's another example, right? And there's this is a constraints here. So, I mean, to solve this problem, you know, the uh, let's because we they're like. There are like different scenarios. There could be a, a invalid. It could be the right parenthesis is invalid, and there also could be a, the the left parenthesis is invalid. So which means that we have to uh, handle them separately. So when I say handle them separately, I mean that let's say, given like a string, if we scan from left to right, what can we get? So what can we can we uh, can we achieve here? So if we scan from left to right, then it means that, and then we can we can easily uh, remove the uh, the invalid right parentheses because if we scan from left to right, and then let's say we keep a counter of the left parentheses that we have seen so far, right, and then basically. Every time when we see like a left parenthesis, we inc we do an increase. We we increase the left parenthesis by by one, and then when we when we see uh when we see a, a right parenthesis, right. So first we'll check if the left parenthesis count is greater than one. If it is, then we know okay. So the current right parenthesis is a valid one, which means we need to keep it. And when the uh, when the left parenthesis zero and and then we see another like right parenthesis. It means that that right parenthesis needs to be removed. All right. So for example, we have this one. So at this mo at this moment, we have the left parenthesis is one, and here we have left parenthesis equals to two, right? And then when we see the the th the first uh, right parenthesis, would we'll basically will decrease, uh, will decrease the left parenthesis. Uh, basically, we have we have one, and then this one become becomes two, right? And then when we see the the first right parenthesis, basically we will decrease this left parenthesis by by one. So it's this one becomes to one, and then when we see another one, and then we decrease this one to zero, right? And then the third one, when we see a a third one, we see okay the zero. So now we have a zero left parenthesis left to to be to pair with the current one, which means that we have to skip this one. Okay. Basically, with this one uh, single for loop, we can remove all the invalid right parentheses. So that I think the only thing left is that we just need to do another uh, traverse from the end to the beginning. Similarly, and then we can remove all the uh, all the invalid left parentheses. So after this two uh, two scan two linear scan. We have all the answers we need. Okay, 
yeah, just for similarly, for example, with this one, right? Basically, in the first uh, for loop here, we remove this. I uh, will remove these two right parentheses because none of them is, is valid, right? And with a second uh, for loop from the from the la from the end to the beginning, we remove this this two uh, a left parentheses. That's why we have the final answer here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the uh, the idea here. And to implement that, right? So, uh, so first uh, I'm going to have like the answer equals to um, empty, right? So for C in S, right? So the first uh, loop is from the left to right, and so basically, if the C, uh, I do I do the check first. Basically, if the if the current one is a right parenthesis, and then I check if the left parenthesis is equal to zero. Right, and then it means that we need to skip the current uh, this right parenthesis. So I'll just uh, do continue. Right, else, else we uh, decrease the left parenthesis by one. Right, and then the remaining is like if the C is equal to the left parenthesis. Right, it means that okay, we are uh, we need to increase the the counter by one, and then in, in the end I just uh, append this current one the. The current letters to the to the to the answer here, because the only the only time we we will skip the current we will skip like the uh, letter is when the uh, the current one is the right parenthesis, but there's no remaining uh, left parenthesis to 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 pair with it. So since we already handle it in, in the continue here, we can uh, safely uh, basically uh, append this one to the answer, and then the 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 next time, I'll just. Uh, Duplicate code here. So now we need to count the uh, the right parentheses, right? So now I have the uh, uh, answer one, maybe. And now we need to loop through from the end, uh, like the length of the s. Sorry, the answer, right? Then we do a minus one, minus one, minus one. Okay. So now the c is the answer dot i. Right. So similarly, almost the same, right? Actually, the only difference is that we have to reverse this kind of parameters and that. That's why, you know, I'm going to just copy and paste. So so now we check if the current one is a left parenthesis, right? And then uh, now we need to check if the right parenthesis is zero. And if not, we decrease here, that, right? Mm. Also answer plot plus one. So in the end, I can simply, all we need to return is the answer one. Uh, so don't forget, don't, don't forget to reverse it because uh, since we're appending these answers uh, from the end to the, to the beginning, that's why in the end we need to, we also need to reverse it back to the, to its original other, other, right? So if I run the code, yeah, so that's what we have here. And then if we submit, So that's it, right? I mean, so the time complexity, pretty straightforward. We have uh, only two uh, parallel uh, for loop here, so it's going to be all often, right? That's the time complexity. And the, uh, yeah, so I think that's that's pretty much it is, you know. I think for this kind of uh, duplicated codes here, we can also create like a separate uh, helper functions. You know, maybe I can also pass in this kind of, uh, which one we want to check, and uh, which where where where's the uh, the paired, the uh, the counterpart for the current one, but you know that's another option of implementations. But that, the idea is the same, right? Basically, we just need to do a two process, two uh two traverse two loop. Basically, so if it's in the first loop, we remove, uh, we can make sure we remove all the invalid uh, right parentheses, and with the second loop from from the from the end to the beginning, we can remove all the uh. The invalid left parenthesis. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything about this problem. And yep, yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys, and stay tuned. See you guys soon. Bye bye.